Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome into a first look at Bell and Craig Breakfast 22. We're taking a look at this map. It's an edit that was made uh, of the original map, uh, which had errors in it when I got it, and I have since took like two weeks to strain out the edits to where I can play on it. Uh, I figured I'd show y'all what I've done, or what's been done, I should say. As far as like this building here is new to the map, I didn't do it. That was somebody else's. A lot of this stuff is somebody else's stuff that was done. Granted, they've they've kept with the feel of the actual map. I mean, this is original. This is original. This is not. Matter of fact, this map didn't even have a silo back in FS17. Uh, this was also different. And there was another building here where this one is. There was a small building similar to this one over here and it had the cows in front of it another shed for cows in front of it um so it's a little bit different now a lot of this is done by somebody else as far as the edits to the map like this building here is different uh matter of fact this building wasn't even here but a lot of the stuff on this map that i've done is stuff to make it work uh when i got it it had errors and a lot of things didn't work. So, but at, keeping with the trueness of the map from FS17, the field that you start with, the arable field I should say that you start with is right here, as usual. And then you have the grass field. Well, three grass fields, this one and I believe it's the one over here um, yeah the tree yeah this one here and in the field I believe it's 10 no no it's 10 in the original it's one on this one I believe one three four and then the uh, field for which is arable but as you see sticking with the original uh, most 90% uh, 99% of the fields are grass uh, technically this is the only arable field to start with on this version back on 17 I believe this one well, the field right across the road there, this one right here, um, that was also arable. Then there was another arable field over there in that distant uh, direction. But, again, things wanted to cause issues with them being in here, so I had to make them all grass to get it to work right. But anyway, <clears throat> yeah, leave that one up to, I believe... Farms and had something to do with that one. Uh, like in 17, you could get away with having mostly grass fields without having an issue, but I think with this one, there's something about it that doesn't like it or something. But anyway, keeping with the traditional map from 17, you start with some actual usable silage bales. jump this is your silo your bunker silo this is where you put your silage or your chaff to make in the silage now the door that was originally here again it was also errors I couldn't get it to work right no matter what I did no matter how I coded it no matter what way I'd done it I took it out of the map redone it remade it put it back in and it still had issues it did not like it. I don't know why. I don't know what was going on. To, you know, make it to where it didn't want to work, but it just did not want to work. This is your, uh, I guess, vehicle shop, but there's no trigger, so I mean, it's more just for looks. Your starting equipment. Get your tractor, your trailer, a couple of uh, implements. Uh, your harvesters over here. Your milk so. Uh, your milk storage is right here. 
all these doors didn't work when I got it John Deere nice some more equipment I mean, not bad I know the PDA um, or overview is that it's now called uh, auto save again I don't know why it does that I don't have auto save on I don't think maybe I do I don't remember anyway this is your PDA it didn't have the border going around it I put that on there because it was just a gray screen saying this is the border anyway your vehicle so uh we're sitting outside of the map you have a boundary that goes all the way around this keeps you from being able to come out here but anyway uh so your starting vehicles were out here and the animal cell point trigger the little icon for it was out here so that's all been strained out uh, like I said before, the did I say it? Anyway, point being, uh, the vehicle cell point wasn't even working. It wasn't even in here. It was gone. The fuel trigger was also not working. Um, a few of the other things weren't working. You have another cow barn up here in the uh, corner next to the road. You got one there, and you got the one in here. Now, the one here in this field, which, matter of fact, we'll go take a look at. Is not original to the map. And I put it in here mainly, I put it in because of the fact that if you try and put it in, because it's a mod on the mod hub, but if you try and put it in the way it normally would be put in, in game, It'll flatten this, you know, area out, level it, but it only levels what is right around the actual food troughs. So you got this field that's going up at an angle, and then it just comes down and drops off, goes flat, and then goes back down at an angle. So I did this just for to actually fit the map. Now, granted, it's not normally in the map, so. Don't expect to see that in anybody else's. That's something I did. The original field, this originally had cows in it, but this save, the cows were all janked up in this field, and the feed, there was a feed trough, but there was no water trough, and you couldn't feed them at all. No matter what you did, you couldn't feed them. Full field full of uh, cows and it wouldn't take any food whatsoever said oh there's no room for it which you know obviously there was but it wouldn't work I thought maybe okay well maybe it's working off of this trigger here so I fed these ones these ones took food but those didn't so I don't know what was going on with that but anyway you get your water tr uh, trigger here. You get your silo there, which back in 17, like, a, like I was saying, this map is based on, you know, basically from FS17, just with a few twists. Well, it's not basically, it is from. Anyway, point being, there's a silo in this one. And then we can jump in the vehicle and go take a look at the rest of the map that's a fence back there if I'm not mistaken thought I was past it already oops yeah the map the mirrors on this one the mirrors on this game I don't understand them. you can't adjust them and they're always always facing in an area where you really can't use them Actually, because of the roads on this one, 
the traffic actually goes this direction first. So we'll just follow the traffic. Now we'll go to the end. There's a John Deere in front of us pulling a muck spreader. So here we are at the main cell point. Now this map only has one actual cell point, and this is it. Um, again, true to the map. Wool and cotton go here. Your grain go here. These doors actually work. Get your straw. Fertilizer, herbicide storage you got some that actually lives on site and then we're going to go down here and I'll show you the other barn We have the other barn here. Now, the cow's clipping into the ground. That's the ground underneath the barn goes down. I don't know why. I didn't put the barn in, so I couldn't tell you. And to be honest with you, I don't know why they didn't bother to level that off. I may end up eventually going in and doing that myself. But right now as it is, I didn't do anything with that, so you're seeing what I'm seeing as I see it as well. Got more storage. Okay. We got a line of traffic here. Sorry about that, y'all. We will go ahead and move on. You come up this little trek, and at the end of it, you have a building that's practically useless. I mean, this is just your access to your fields. That that building there has no usage. You can't get to any of the doors. The gates don't work, so... All right, we'll stop here. I mean, this gate here is, you know, keeping you out. That one's keeping you out. This one's keeping you out. So you can't really get in there to do anything. And to get to this field over here, you got to go through this little area here. So. John Deere. Okay, so now as we go around this corner over here, you'll notice the village. Whoa, hello. And traffic, I take it. Anyway, this is your village. Little town. The town of Bellancraig. Just past the church. Alright, so when you pull in here, this is the vehicle shop. It didn't have this trigger here when I got the map. I had to put that in. It had this one, but it didn't have that one. But, I mean, everything else was there. Just didn't have the actual triggers. But that's your vehicle shop right there. Alright, we'll jump over here. Use your, without hitting the actual, you know, 
fence or stone wall. Your mom and pop little store, gas station. Not a bad little building, not a bad little setup. Again, your little village. Then we got traffic again. So, that's pretty much the uh, town of Bellingcraig. Now, in 17, it was called Bellingcraig Estates, but again, I didn't, I didn't redo the name myself. It's just called Bellingcraig on here. I'm 22. But as y'all can see. It has kept a lot of it, a lot of its looks from FS17. There's only a few differences as far as the main farm goes. Uh, now granted over on that other barn over there, that wasn't even a functioning barn on 17, but it is on this one. But anyway, so just wanted to give y'all a little look at what's been going on and the map for which I do plan on doing a small little series on y'all let me know what y'all think of the map and I appreciate y'all taking a look y'all take care I'll catch y'all in the next one later y'all